Welcome to RAW 2013. My name is Deborah Dunze. I'm so excited today and we are going to be sitting down with the man God gave the vision, Emil Dunze. Join me as we talk to him now and ask him how he came, how this all came about. Uh, we're here to celebrate an awesome time in the presence of God. Congratulations, Emmy. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels like um, my mom's across the... Oh, really? Yes. It's a wonderful <laughs> feeling to be here. It's been a long time coming. Uh, this has been a journey, a long journey, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, to see what's happening today and what God is doing is, is just amazing. Yeah. Thinking about where I've come from to where I am now and knowing where I'm going. <laughs> Yeah, this feels good. It's pretty exciting. We're all so excited. Um, it's great to have you today. Thank you. So tell us a little about yourself. Well, my name is Emmy. I'm the fat boy out of seven children. Mm -hmm. uh, I got brought into this world through Dr. Don Odunze and uh, Reverend Mrs. Beatrice Odunze. Uh, and I have um, I have three other brothers. I have three other brothers and. Um, three sisters. Um, I'm from Imo State in Nigeria, West Africa, and the world at large. <laughs> Great. You. you seem like a really funny guy. <laughs> I, well, I don't know if I'm funny or not. You know, I, 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 I'm myself. I try to have fun. I can tell that already. Yeah. Um, so this album, let's talk about the album. Yes. It's titled But God. Mm -hmm. So how did you come about that? Well, the title of but God is, um, it just speaks of, man, I, I, the things I've been through, and the things a lot of people are going through, like those moments where you say, if it were not for God, you know, mm. oh man, what, what would this have been? You know, where would I have, I have ended up? So this album just say, it just thinks about all the things that you can think about and you say, but God, but God brought me through this, but God, this could have happened, but God. I could have been here, but God. Mm -hmm. So it is like a summary of my life's experiences and, uh, and a lot of other people's too. Right. Yeah, a lot of people can. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that but God moment. Yeah. And this is the but God moment. But Everybody God has moment. a but God moment. Even if you don't believe there's God, somebody is keeping you alive. So you have a but God moment. True. Yeah. Very true. Well so. said. Well said. So raw. Radical, authentic worship. Yes. So, what motivated that name, and how did the vision come to you? Well, uh, radical, authentic worship uh, is just uh, it came to me earlier on this year from God, of course. To uh, anything can happen. This is a gospel concert, but don't expect it to be boring. It's scripted, but at the same time, not a, not scripted. And that I mean, this thing is about Jesus, and anything can happen. Wherever the Holy Spirit takes us, we're gonna go. By, by radical, and you see, I'm a bit radical. I'm different. You know, I can tell in a few minutes. So, yeah, in a good way. So, when you come to a concert we put together, you're going to have fun. You're going to have a wonderful time. You're going to laugh. You're probably going to cry, you know. And then, you're going to feel like giving us money. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to find a funny worship. You're going to, something is going to happen. That even in the laughter or crying, you know, the worship or the music, people are going to go home feeling like, God really touched them, you know, people are going to go home and they're feeling like, wow, I felt at home. So it's going to be a place anybody and everybody can come and enjoy themselves, enjoy the music, and at the same time, have their souls ministered to. So that's what Radical Authentic Worship is all about. Mm, so it's okay for the ladies to know that you can take off those heels, get comfortable, oh, yes. dance, wear your best shoes, cry. Wear, your, wear, your best, wear your best hair. Let the makeup run. Yes, you know, wear your best hair. Yes, you paid for it. It's your own. Yeah, so I mean, just come and be yourself and just relax. Not worry about anybody sitting next to you or anybody that's looking at you. And, you know, have fun in the presence of God. Everyone I know has uh, their coming to America story. Mm -hmm. What's yours? It's a bit embarrassing, so please don't <laughs> laugh too much. I walked up to my mom one evening and I told her, I used to always say, like when I was small, whenever NEPA, NEPA is the power authority in Nigeria, whenever they take light, electricity, 
I will always say, oh man, and when I was in New York, this doesn't happen, you know, <laughs> when I'm in LA, and my younger sister will always be like, dreamer, you're always dreaming, and I was already like 17 or 18, I've not been in an airplane, and I told my mom, see, I said, the first day I enter an airplane, is going to be the, way, the day I'm leaving this country. Mm. And my sister laughed. You know, ah. I, that girl can laugh sharp. So I told my mom, you see, this country doesn't have what it takes to explore what's in me. Wow. Yeah, that's that's exactly what you I told said. told her that. Yes, I said that. And, but that was then, no. Not now. Niger is the place now. <laughs> yes. So, um, so, do you know what happened two weeks after that? We got an envelope in the mail. Mm. And I had won the American lottery. But my dad was a man of faith. So we decided to explore it, pursue it, and we started processing and processing and processing it. And every time I would go to Lagos to process stuff, I would enter the bus. Every time, like four trips or so, I took to Lagos to process my visa, you know. And so by the time um, they gave me, the, they gave me the visa. Everybody was in shock. I mean, I'm the youngest boy in my family. Like, you know, I'm gonna leave the country, America. And I'm one of those that believe, you know, they told us that if you win American lottery, the government will put you in school, they'll have a car waiting for you, they'll have a job waiting for you. Wow. And yeah, I'm still waiting for the car. The money I was supposed to leave Nigeria, I was supposed to leave Enugu to Lagos. And that's the night I was supposed to fly out. So we had gotten in the car to drive to the park to enter the bus. And here comes my mom running out. She just came out and she was like, stop, 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 stop. stop. And she gave us like some money, like this. She said, take him to the airport, take a plane. Mm. That was the first day wow. I entered an airplane. Mm. When I got in the flight, it was a KLM you know, flight. This was my first time in an international plane, my like, yeah, you know, so, so I looked at my ticket, I saw my seat number. Mm. So I got to the seat number. So I saw an earphone and a blanket on it. So I passed it. I kept looking, man, and I came back. You know, people were sitting down. The airplane was like, I came out again, and I passed it. I said, ha, everywhere has been reserved. <laughs> Why do I feel like a lot of people are laughing? Like See, then, where I was coming from, people were always reserving seats for their friends. Oh even God. in school, you know, people that haven't even taken their shower. They already have chairs in the, in, the, in the classroom because their friends are reserving. So I was used to people reserving stuff. They would just put a book or even a pen. Uh -huh. uh -huh. They are reserving for them. So me, I thought this, so the guy sitting there had reserved that seat for his friend. Oh, wow. Yes. So I kept passing like four times. So the guy stopped me. He said, um, what's up? I said, oh, I'm, you know, I'm trying to find a chair. He said, let me see your ticket. He said, this is your chair. I said, uh, I thought you reserved this. He said, no, 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 that's for you. Chai. Wow. <laughs> and then the next thing was when the waitress, the hostess, uh, came through. And then she was like, um, uh, chicken habit? <laughs> yeah. So this, <laughs> this night, <laughs> chicken habit. So I'm like, ha. I'm from, I know is I know meat is meat. Which are these chicken of beef, you know? But then the rest of that flight, my dear darling, Kai. Woo! My, my, my intestines were in worship. They were not used to They it. were in You're worship. Oh it. man, it was wow. my first time, mm. you know, eating that airplane food, man. Mm. So, by the time we were getting to Amsterdam, we got to Amsterdam. Hmm. Things were going to happen at that airport. Oh wow. I was running to the restroom. <laughs> See where I'm from, there's toilets, there's latrine. Wow. Then there's, you know, the loo or whatever you yeah, call that. Yeah, the loo. <laughs> latrine. <laughs> yeah, you go to latrine, you know things, what's up. Things went down yes. at the loo. So I, I, ran, I was in such a big hurry, I just ran into the restroom. And then, you know, I used the restroom. I just, you know, freely I've been given. So freely I give. <laughs> right, yes. So, man, when I was done and, um, I got up. Immediately I got up, you know, I was trying to turn to flush and the thing just moved. <laughs> wow. Hey, I'm not from the village or oh, not a moment. But you know, these things are we grow from grace to grace. Exactly. Yes. So <laughs> do you know what now shocked me was that in the big hurry to go use the restroom mm -hmm. when I came out from the um, you know from the store, there was women everywhere. I mean it was all of them looking at me like 
Oh, oh. And I went into the female restaurant. Oh, no, you did not. I sure did. I ran into the female restroom. And I didn't know. <laughs> uh, if you want to hear more, my, more of my coming to America stories, uh, meet me after the, um, the concert. So what should we expect from Emmy? Now we've gotten to this point. What's next? We are actually uh, working on uh, two, 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 two movies oh, wow. that I, I wrote. Okay. I, hope, I hope I can star in, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a talent wow. I need to explore. So we have two movies uh, that we're going to be working on, on in the next year, and um, uh, a book. Okay. And um, hopefully, we, you know, God willing, we will have raw again. Hopefully, it can become an annual, annual event. Okay. You know, if, if you guys buy a ticket, this thing is not cheap. And you get some corporate sponsors and yes, individual yes, yes, sponsors. Yes, 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 yes. So okay. uh, we're going to look into making it an annual event. You know, if people really like it and want to be part of it and we'll take it from there so we have a whole lot of things uh, we're working on it. we're working on a cooking show with mm -hmm. Deb's Kitchen you're gonna be hearing more about it awesome. and um, we're working on a clothesline and um, but uh, both for adults and kids mm -hmm. and, you know we have, we have a lot in the works as God, is, as God helps us you're pretty funny when you mentioned the, the movies that you have in the works, I just couldn't help but think of Tyler Perry. Mm. You would, I mean, I see you yeah. working with him. Yes, he's my big brother we've not met. Wow. Tyler, <laughs> we'll meet very soon. There's nothing God can do. I, I tell you, you, yeah. you would you would work awesome with him because yes. I can see you're so funny and talented and you're just real. Yeah, I'm, I'm just myself. I try to be myself. So, you know, Hollywood, Nollywood. Bollywood. Mm -hmm. Great things to come. I will speak Indian if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> the ministry must move to the permanent side. Thank you for joining us. It's been awesome talking to Emmy Adunze. Thank you for coming to Raw 2013. So, Emmy, any last words for our audience? Thank you all for coming. Tonight, you're witnessing the dream come true. And the same God that did it for me, He's going to do it for you. Thank you again. Thank you so much. I can't say enough for coming. You know, please make sure you buy the CDs, you know, and uh, just relax. And I know you're already having a wonderful time. You're already blessed. We're about to kick it up a notch. So, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's rock.